Hello and welcome to The Loop. I'm Matt Bruning. And I'm Erin McBride. Testing is underway on the state's first smart lane. A couple weeks ago, we took you out to I-670 in Columbus to show you these massive sign gantries that were being installed. Crews will be running them through the paces to make sure they're ready to go when we flip the switch next month. Now, unlike our other message boards, these are full color and high resolution. They'll be used to alert drivers of the speed limits when the smart lane is active and when it's not, and any traffic hazards that may be out along the routes. Our I-71 Martin Luther King Jr. Interchange in Cincinnati is up for a major award. But it's a major award. I won it. No, not that kind of major award. It has been nominated as one of 12 projects vying for America's Transportation Awards. You can vote once a day online at americastransportationawards.org. The winning project gets $10,000 for charity. Voting ends on October 6th. Speaking of charity, the state's combined charitable campaign is underway. It's a multi-agency effort that allows state employees to donate to more than 1,600 local, national, and international charities. ODOT has been a part of this effort for the past 30 years. In addition to payroll deductions or one-time gifts, ODOT holds special events like ice cream socials, chili cook-offs, office pumpkin patches, and bake sales, or even taking pies to the face to help raise money for charity. Last year, ODOT raised more than $216,000. If you watch Finding Nemo, you know that all drains lead to the ocean, or in Ohio, a creek or a river. Our Hunu guru found that ODA is testing a new technique to make sure that water draining off our roads is as clean as possible. So I hope you already know that ODOT takes protecting the environment very seriously. You can only imagine that some of the things that leak out from vehicles onto our roadways are washed into waterways. So to try and mitigate that, we're testing four different designs of filtration strips at 10 sites all across the state. These grass filter strips include different depths of sand, expanded shale, compost, and or native soil. Our researchers are measuring rainfall and runoff to see how well these different natural filtration systems work. This project began in 2017 and is expected to last for about four and a half years. The goal is to develop a new, cost-effective standard practice for helping to reduce and clean stormwater runoff from Ohio's roadways to keep our environment clean. Who knew? Thanks a lot, Dave. We'll get more ODOT news online at transportation.ohio.gov. Follow us on social media. And we always love your story ideas and feedback to loop at dot.ohio.gov. And please keep sending us great videos just like this one from District 9 at the Chillicothe Paints game. And now you're in the loop! Cheers.